Hello. In this video we will explain you the step-by-step -step process to attach the unmanaged VHD file to an existing VM. In this demo, we have already created a new VM with a public IP address. The VHD file for this VM is stored under Vettier Storage 01 blog account. Download the Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer tool from the Microsoft link and install it in your PC. We have already installed the Storage Explorer in our test machine. Open the Storage Explorer. It will prompt us to add the Azure account for first time we log in into the Storage Explorer. We have already added our Azure subscription account in this tool. Our test VM VHD is available under this VHD's container. Log in into our test VM through RDT. We have created few files and folder for demo purpose on the desktop. Need to verify that we are using the existing VHD for the newly creating VM. Stop and delete the VM. Our test VM was deleted successfully. Make sure that our test VM VHD is available under Web Tier Storage Account. Delete the existing associated IP for our test VM from virtual networks before creating the new one. The associated IP was deleted successfully. Create a new VM exactly the same configuration of your deleted VM. During VM provisioning, Azure will create a new IP and VHD file under the specified blob storage. Once the VHD and IP are created for the VM, cancel the VM deployment.
it will take few minutes to complete the cancel operation. Then the VM status will change to stopped mode. Open the Storage Explorer. Right click on the new created VHD and clip break lease. Make a note of newly created VHD name. Delete the new VHD file. Rename the existing VHD file with new name using the Rename option. Start the VM now. Log in into the VM through RDP. We can see our old files and folders available on the desktop. Thanks for watching this video.